Nu ska jag göra om det här till en sluttning. För att... I will now transform the horizontal aquifer to a hill slope in order to illustrate our view of how runoff in streams is generated by rainfall or snowmelt, what we call stream flow generation. I prepare the hill slope. We can imagine this as a Nordic forested area with till soil. In such areas, the groundwater table is normally shallow with a depth of a few meters in elevated areas. Down here in the discharge area, we have the groundwater table above the ground surface in the stream itself and in or very near the ground surface in the surrounding wetland. I raise the groundwater table so it's rather close to the ground surface up in the hill slope. Now I start rainfall on the recharge area. This is rainfall with extremely high intensity, but the infiltration capacity of the soil is also very high, so all rainfall is infiltrated. The groundwater table rises, the slope towards the discharge area increases, and the discharge increases in the lower part of the hill slope and in the stream itself. I give more rainfall in the recharge area and we can see how rapidly the discharge responds to the infiltration. Water falling in the recharge area takes a long way, vertically down through the unsaturated zone and then downhill as groundwater. Let's stop for a while to comment the velocity of water. If the water was labeled with a tracer, one would see that it takes a long time for the water molecules to reach the stream. Here about 10 to 20 minutes, and in a real hill slope, several months. There is plenty of time for the water to be affected chemically by the soil or the bedrock. The flow response, on the other hand, is very fast. Here a few seconds, and in a real hill slope, it could be a few hours. The rainwater falling on the saturated discharge area cannot infiltrate. These water molecules go directly to the stream without contact with the mineral soil and the water has less possibility to be affected chemically. Let's look at the response of the water table to a rainfall pulse. Please look carefully. A very small rise of the water table is seen in the recharge area. A similar pulse in the discharge area where the water table is high and the soil is wet gives a rapid and large response. I think it is particularly infiltration in these areas that generates runoff events in streams and that infiltration in the upper part of the recharge area mainly maintains the flow between the rainfall events.